Remember army men? Sure you do. Since the 30s, these little plastic soldiers have been the delight of many a young lad and a relief to parents who couldn't afford pricey toys for their kids, even if it meant they would step on them constantly and hurt the bottom of their feet. The ongoing war between the Green and Tan Army has lived on in the imaginations of boys for so long that they became part of pulp culture, most notably in the classic Toy Story series of films. But in 1998, the 3DO company, hot off the failure of their self-titled console, went into just publishing and developing games, and in 1998 developed the first game in the Army Men franchise. The first two titles in the series were real-time tactical games before moving into the third dimension with 1999's Army Men 3D for the PlayStation, which was a third-person shooter, the genre that the series would mostly stick to on consoles. Needless to say, Army Men became a popular enough series throughout the early 2000s, with one of the most popular titles being the Sarge's Heroes games, starring the titular green hero squaring off against the evil Tan Army. Around 2003, 3DO filed for bankruptcy, and the Army Men IP was sold to Global Star Software, who continued the franchise with the third and final episode of the Sarge's Heroes trilogy, Army Men, Sarge's War. Now I'll be honest with you, I never really played any of the Army Men games, save for maybe an hour on this one or a couple minutes on that one, mostly because I wasn't interested in the series. But because of the fact that there are two of them on the big green, it was eventually time for me to check them out on my own. So let's go ahead and take a look at Sarge's War and see if it's worthy to be in your Xbox collection or just stick it under the sun with a magnifying glass, which I know a few of you did. You heartless fools, don't look at me that way. The Sarge's War begins with our hero fighting back the Tan Army from an assault on Greentown, leading to the surrender of General Plastro and a ceremony announcing the peace between the two armies. However, a division of rogue Tan soldiers led by the aptly named Lord Malice have stolen infantry molds to create their own army. When Sarge goes after Malice, he learns that the evil lord has planted a bomb at the ceremony. Sarge rushes to defuse the bomb, but it is too late. The bomb goes off, killing not only the green and tan armies, but Plastro, Colonel Grimm, Sarge's unit, and his love interest, Vicky. Filled with rage, Sarge sets off to get revenge for his fallen comrades and kill Malice. Seeing as how the plots of previous Army Men titles always seem to be a little more light-hearted, for lack of a better term, it's kind of jarring to see Sarge's War take the story into a darker path in the vein of Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy. Hearing Sarge speak in this Max Payne-like tone and going on a Rambo-level rampage just feels... odd. Especially when you see his goofy face on the covers of the other games. I love you, Sarge. One thing that hasn't changed about Sarge is the gameplay. Sarge's War is still a third-person shooter where you progress from stage to stage completing objectives in order to pass on to the next level, earning medals for your hard work. As with the majority of Army Men games, Sarge uses a variety of weapons like rifles, a shotgun, sniper, flamethrower, bazooka, and grenades, and picking up armor and health packs in order to not explode into a plastic mess. There's also a split-screen multiplayer where you and three others can duke it out in plastic blastin' modes like Deathmatch and Capture the Flag. There's also an Xbox Live option, but I think that was more for being able to see your friends list and get online alerts because I couldn't find anything in the manual for online multiplayer. Other than that, it's your standard Army Men game. Granted, the controls are a lot better than the older games, Though the camera is a bit on the sensitive side, and the lock-on isn't as precise as it should be. As it is, there's not much pushing the series forward in terms of gameplay. If you're a fan of the series, you know what you're in for, though new players won't necessarily be turned away. Visually, Sarge's War isn't all bad. The stages range from dark and serious like the destroyed Greentown to the harsh desert of the sandbox, 
and the cold, harsh environment known as the kitchen, to name a few. Meanwhile, the character models still look like army men, though a bit upgraded, especially with that actual bullet damage. I mean, there are times when Sarge starts to look like Wolverine with chunks of plastic taken out of him, or when you shoot off an enemy's head and they still flail around trying to shoot you. It's pretty brilliant. it's your basic military sounding action fare, though I didn't know that at first. For some reason my game didn't play any music when I recorded footage and I just chalked it up to the developers wanting to go with ambient sounds. It was when I found videos on YouTube that played the soundtrack that I realized the problem. Either way, the music still isn't that great. As for the voice acting, it's interesting. There are some characters that say comedic lines that don't fit with the dark, brooding tone that the game's going for. As for Sarge, again, he's trying too hard to be an all-in-one Solid Snake, Rambo, and Max Payne, and it just comes off as reaching a little too hard to be serious, but not making it so bad it's good. The second I smelled that tile, the memories came back to haunt me. It was long before the heroes. I was just a kid. Under the command of Major Gooding. Gooding was Grimm's best officer. We were holding tight at our evac point. That's when the mission went bad. Gooding had led us straight into an ambush. We didn't know what hit us. I can still hear the screams. Smell the burnt plastic. Bravo to Tango. Bravo to Tango. We need some heat down here fast. Grid Square, Foxtrot 3. We can't hold out much longer. I called in an airstrike. In a few moments, it was gonna get hot. Real hot. I commend the developers for trying to take the Army Men franchise, as well as the Sarge's Heroes storyline, into a new territory. However, just making your main character a plastic green Rambo isn't enough, and at the end of the day, Sarge's War is just yet another Army Men game with not much changed. Fans of the series will enjoy this chapter, but after you beat it in a few hours, you're not left with much reason to play it again. Like I said, I only recommend it if you're a big fan of the franchise and are curious to see what happens to Sarge and company. After the completion of Sarge's War, there was another Army Men title in 2006 called Army Men Major Malfunction, which I have not heard good things about, but that's going to have to be a story for another time. Until then, this is the Dolly Popka saying, stay green, soldiers. I'll see you next time. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode and want more of me and the Big Green, then click that subscribe button and the bell to get notified when new content arrives. I want to say a special thank you to my patrons for helping not just the channel grow, but me as a creator. You have my forever thanks. If you're interested in the channel and would like to help it grow further, consider becoming a patron today. For the cost of a soda or an item on the dollar menu, you can help myself and the channel provide the best source of big green programming and more. Once again, all the thanks and love. After the completion of Sarge's War, there was another Army Men title in 2006 called Army Men... An Impostore! Really? Really? <laughs> See what I have to work with here? <laughs> Cut, print, we're done. We're done. No more, turn off the camera.